here. So we can see comments, hopefully. I have to Okay, good. I like to be able to um, glance over and see them, but Facebook is being so weird about this. What's so weird? Um, sometimes it just won't let me see the comments or won't let me comment. Hey, Heaven. Hey, Opa. Oh, y'all are all, come on in. The studio doors are open. Thank you for sprinkling, Opa. Hey, everybody. Sprinkle, sprinkle. We are flying by the seat of our pants today. Hey, Elizabeth. I'm so happy you're here. I hope you'll get excited about this, too. I don't know. This may not. Mr. Tater Buggins here with me. I guess he's going to have to help me with the comments because all I can get is on my phone because Facebook's being, I don't know. Hey, Ginger, everything's going good. Hey, Judy, I'm so glad you're here, Miss Judy from the Crafty House. Well, where'd my comments go? Exactly, mine are gone. Oh, well, you can, I don't know. Did you swipe? If you swipe, if you swipe a certain way, comments go away. Um, hey, Florinda, I'm so glad you're here. Sure, Okay, Sherry, hello. Hello, Marjorie, hello from Wisconsin. Hello from Tennessee, everybody. Hey, Artis. Sherry Sinzi is from and Southeast Kansas. Wow, okay, and I see Sandra here. Happy Sunday. And Teresa, okay. Judy Peer. Uh, yeah, that's Miss Judy that I mentioned earlier. Thank you. And Amanda's here. Amanda, you've got to share your page too. I love Amanda Made. You make such beautiful things. Um, okay, let me. I, I wanted to try one more time, y'all, and see if I can. Uh, I, I'm going to tell y'all what we're doing as you're getting here. Uh, it's so weird. I don't know. Usually I can pull myself up over on the um Libby Fowler. Did Li is Libby here? Did she say hello? Libby Fowler said Happy New Year. Yay, Happy New Year, Libby. Hi Donna. Sorry. Hi Tammy. Tammy's here. Sandra Sprinkle. Janae Messick. I don't know hello if y'all can Virginia. hear. Him. He's telling me what y'all are saying since I can't see him. Hello from Virginia. Yay. Hey Janae. Hey, Stephanie. Oh, I'm I love you and your sister, too. Thank you for saying that. That's so sweet. Yeah, Elizabeth, he'll probably, he may be helping me with this. So let me tell y'all how this all started while you're coming in and saying hi. Hey, Bonnie. Uh, so the other day I decided I wanted, I'm all about these tiered trays now. I'm always late to the game, you know. They've been, uh, hey, Nancy, I'm so happy you're here. Nancy Taylor, hey, Nancy. <laughs> I tell you, yeah. Um, so I told him, I said, I want a cute little house to make for my, there's Mr. Tater Buggin, for my new um, tiered trays. He got on the ball. I had made this little one myself. And then he got on the ball and he made me a two-tiered and a three-tiered. I'm going to show it to you. They just got painted yesterday. My sweet sister-in-law was here and she painted them while we were working. So, anyway, he cut out all the little pieces and I made my own little house uh, to share, to, um, let me grab this two-tiered tray just to show you. This is what he made. Just to sit on your tiered tray. I love it. It's the little things, you know. Um... And then I decided, you know what? I want a whole row of houses that are all different shapes and sizes. That's on the shelves back there that I'm working on in between orders and, and other stuff, my responsibilities. <laughs> um, but then yesterday morning, we had an... Oh, do you, Elizabeth? Um, y'all, hand me that your three-tier tray. He's thinking about selling these if y'all are interested. So he is a uh -oh, master craftsman. This is my big three-tiered tray. See, isn't it so cute? Um, but we had a, a little, I'm gonna use this again in a minute. So let me set that over there. I had a wild idea as I was having my coffee. We have our coffee together in the morning now because he's, 
he's all retired and we're working together. So we had the idea and he said, well, sure, I can do that. Uh, are you late to it too? Oh, I thought it was just me. So I'm probably gonna have one in every room of the house now. Um, so I even found this itty bitty one at Goodwill the other day. I lucked out and I just love it. So I've gone berserk over tiered trays and um, thanks Libby, I really love them too. I think um, I'm probably gonna, they're chalk painted and I'm gonna distress them a little bit. So we can do them all different ways. He can stain them, we can distress them. Um, At least Marie likes your top. Oh, thank you, thank you. This is, my, this is a medium, y'all. Look how big it is. And it's so cozy and comfortable, I love it. Slap this on with some leggings and- Hello, Marlene. Um, I'm glad y'all love the trays. Okay, so I'm gonna start painting and then show you. Nancy says you had another wild hair, huh? Yeah, I, I, I'm running about, lately it's two to three wild hairs a day, but <laughs> oh, it's your first time here, Marlene. Welcome, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, I, I tend to, to have the wild hairs and then run them by him and he will make it happen or he'll do one and bring it to me and I'll say, okay, let's tweak it a little bit here and let's do a little bit there, which is what we've done on this. And I wanna hear what y'all think about this, but I wanna just paint this up real quick. This one is an old piece of wood that already had some paint on it. So I'm not sure how this is gonna look, but I'm just gonna wing it. And if I can go fast enough, we actually have two wild hairs that we may show you because he's he's gotten two ready for me and I just had the idea yesterday morning so we'll see these could be uh, let me just tell you right now these could be for your tiered tray or he could do them in a little larger size if you want it as a shelf sitter so am I missing any any comments yes sir I'm gonna get the sides. Oh, this one's not a house. I'm about to turn it around in just a second and show it's you. Not a house. That's what I said. This one's not a house. Oh. I showed him the house. Yeah. Not a house. Okay. And you know what? Since there was primer underneath it, I kind of like the lines that it made. I don't think I'm gonna. We'll see. We'll, we'll see if I'm gonna distress it. Say something. welcome to all the newbies. There's a lot we've missed. Oh, oh are there a lot of new, a uh, lot of new people? Y'all welcome. I hope you like what we do. If you do, yes, Elizabeth. It's a barn. So he cut me out this little barn. I drew out. She's so smart. I drew out uh, the shape of the barn I wanted. And y'all, it's got all the little wood pieces. I'm gonna paint the roof. We're gonna attach those in their little sections. Is your gun on? Yeah, I turn my gun on. Um, let me make sure. See, he is so good. He um, numbers and letters all the pieces <clears throat> for me. Let me, I want to just wipe this top part off before we go messing with the roof. So now this is my hayloft and this is my door, right? Which yep. one, Mr. Tater Bowden? This is the door. That's the hayloft. Okay. Each one of these should have a little... Well, these are the same. A and B. Okay, I'm with it. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to go on and move this over here because I'm going to need it in just a second. Now, I think, so I've got my little, is that in y'all's way? Let me move that out of the way. got my little red barn painted, and I'm going to grab a, another paintbrush. Yeah, and I think I'm going to, I decided I'm going to do, hey Clarice, I'm going to do a little gray roof. Here's the thing. Let me go on and say, yes, yes Jody. Jody, that's where we're leading. Um, he's going to put together these little kits. Um, and so what I would like to do um, is start, we can come up with some of these cute little shelf sitter things or I mean, tear tray size or shelf sitter size. I'll come on live and paint one, you know, my way. And then um, give you some ideas like you could stain the roof. I stained the roof on my little house. 
I made the little door, um, an arch door, just because I love an arch door and I, I haven't had one, but he uh, worked up some pricing for you to get the little kits. Um, for instance, the barn is gonna be, you said $11.99 or $12 and free shipping on the barn if you wanna order those. What I'm gonna do when I get off of here is um, I'm gonna add it to my store and I'll post the link to my page, but it's not just a barn we're doing today. I had another wild hair yesterday. So I'm gonna paint the roof real quick, and so hopefully I can show you the second idea. And he can offer them in two different sizes. Um, we discussed this. We can do the tiered tray size, or a little bit larger if you want to set it on your countertop or your um, on a shelf in a vignette or something. So um, we'll have two sizes that we can offer. Brenda Carpino from Carthage, Missouri. Hey, Brenda! I am so happy to see you here. Okay, so it's going to actually sit like this. So I want to paint this front part gray as well. Again, you'll be able to customize these however you want to. Paint one edge underneath. You know it sticks out. Oh, that's right. They're going to stick out a little bit. Let me just paint one edge under here. All right. And let me hit this with the um, heat gun. Where am I? Oh, I'm so glad you're excited, Tammy. I've been so excited about this. We were having coffee and I said, you know, I said, I want a barn. I I'd like to do a barn for my tiered tray. Happy Murray here from Michigan just found us. Oh, uh, welcome, welcome, Kathy. I'm so glad. Yes, we're going to sell the tiered trays too, Donna. I'm going to add all of this to um, all of this to our Shopify store. If I'm smart enough to, I'm going to try. Now listen, let me go on and it goes like that, right? Yep. Boom. Right up to right up to this, this corner. Uh -huh. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little Gorilla Glue. I just use glue. Well, I'm going to do both. Just so it's really good, and if it falls over off my tray, the roof isn't going to come off, pop off if it's just hot glue. But this will hold, the hot glue will hold it right now. So, I'm going to add a little hot glue and start building, doing a barn raising. How about that? the strings off so you can kind of see where we're going there's a the first little bit of the roof and this is B yeah I love how he it's like a puzzle that he numbers for you so or letters for you so you know where to put them and whenever he puts a letter on it just remember it goes on the downside it's not the top if he's got a letter on it because I've done that the wrong way before Okay. Lori Pilot, welcome. I'm in northern Ohio. We've got people from every. We're over a hundred, y'all. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I can't even believe it. That always surprises me. <clears throat> hey, you got paint on your fingers. Yeah, I always do. I always have paint on my fingers. Cheryl says she's gonna need a barn too. I just bought the medium round and smaller round. I'm gonna use a chunky wood. Are you making your own tiered tray? I'll show you mine. I just. Brittany Dixon from Tampa, Florida. Hello. Dolly from Oregon. Wow. I made this one. Um, it's Hobby Lobby. I just bought the two rounds and the wood um, candle. candle candle holders yeah and I just stained the whole thing with I just um, watered down acrylic paint and stained it real fast and so made my own little bitty tear tray so but then he got fancy and made me the big one so I am so excited about that okay Julie Diddy watching for the first time wants a barn welcome we're gonna oh yay they're not yet Francis I've got to get those I kind of wanted to see what y'all thought about it first, and this all happened so fast. 
that, uh, I mean, he literally just made these for me. And we t I tweaked them a little bit from the first version. We already have two versions of the second thing ready. But um, I'll need to get a picture of it and put it on our site. And I will be sure to post the link as soon as it's up and ready. Uh, so watch our page. I'll post the link today. Now, okay. You tell me. Is that right? That's right. Okay, let me put this on right, y'all. And then they butt right up against each other. Okay, we've got the second part of our roof, and he's going to help me, yay. I'll grab another brush here and uh, do the other roof. Well, you, you know what I'm going to do? Let me do this. Sorry, y'all. Let me do this. Hello, Brandy. Um, y'all sprinkle if you, you know, if you think you have some friends who might be interested in any of this. We're kind of excited about this new idea. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to do black for the door and the hayloft. What do you think? Yeah, well, or they're stained. Or I could stain it. Y'all want to, let me stain, let me make a little stain like I did the other day, and I'll just stain those two. Let me grab my little cup while he paints there. Step over a German Shepherd. All right, I love using these little uh, condiment cups that you can get, I think I got mine at Target. And they have lids, so if I mix up some stain and I have some left over, I hate to throw it out, and um, you just put the, pop the lid on it and use it next time. And this is just traditional burnt umber, plain old acrylic, um, Americana. All right, there's your roofs. Thank you so much. Okay, he got my roofs done. I'm, you can hit him with the heat gun. I'm gonna add some water <clears throat> to my acrylic right here and mix it up. Just thins it out. Add a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sprinkling. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna get my barn door here. Again, I'm, I'm envisioning, you can get, we're going fast here today, but you could um, paint it a weathered gray look and do your little line down the middle, do your X's. On the front door um, you can just make this little barn your own and you may want one barn that's um, gray weathered with a red roof or you know if you want multiple barns if you want to give them away as gifts okay now that one's a little bit um, slanted how do I that's the bottom and that's the top that one looks a little bit slanted or is that one of the no, yes? Yeah, that's okay. That needs to go to kind of to the top. Okay. They'll, they'll be, they won't be slanted on y'all's. We're, again, just, um, we're, we're flying by the seat of our pants like we do sometimes because we get so excited about these new ideas and just had to, um, and it was, you know, Sunday. I thought y'all might be home and able to catch us live and see us do one of these paint one of these up all right that's ready he's getting my roof put on thank you for sprinkling Jody and Beverly I appreciate that so much okay and if you're you know just signing on it all stemmed from him making me this little house kit that I painted up the other day and while he's putting those together let me just show you my whole row y'all want to see my whole row of houses I'm working on Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about these because I have so many different ideas. Like, we went to Charleston. I oh, love Charleston. And, you know, they have all the pretty painted, different color painted houses. Or you go down to the beach and they have all the bright color painted houses. You could do a whole row of them in those kind of colors. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this row of houses. Um, 
They may end up in my booth at Southern Vintage. I don't know. But it's something else if y'all were interested in. Um, let me show them to you real quick. I just wanted to stain this hayloft window right there. Okay. So, we've got... Let me see if I can line them up where you can see them. These don't have the roofs on yet. I just started painting on Friday. But we've, he's got all the roofs. For instance, see this is marked E. Here are all my roofs. Let me find my E. Right here. Huh, I don't know. Anyway, it'll have, this one will have a little, you know, roof like this that overlaps. And we've got look at these and so you can make them look like whatever you want i had started on this one and did it in the, that truffle waverly chalk paint and then just a little bit of ivory whitewashed over it and made a little arched uh, arched window at the top and double doors you can paint them up however you want to but it makes a whole row of little houses that you could you know move around or if you wanted to attach them to one board and just have them where you can move them all around the house you could that's just something i wanted that he whipped up for me at the end of last week so that's kind of what got me all started and i thought wow a barn would be so so stinking cute all right so this one's gonna go here let me do this real quick he's got us going you need a line down Oh, I'll, I'll, pay, I'll paint that. I'll paint the details on my barn later. Hey, Coley. Coley and Heaven are both here, babe. I Actually, Marjorie, I don't use a stencil. I am terrible with stencils. Um, I just I hand paint them. I kind of think the, the more all the imperfections make it even better. Hey. What did Elizabeth say? How about this right here? Oh, Ginger. Y'all are y'all are just staying a step ahead of us. Elizabeth guessed the barn. Ginger already guessed the barn. You better put your if you're gonna use hot glue and gorilla glue, wherever you set your door down, that's it's gonna stay there. I just tried to scooch it. It's not moving. So um, shims, yes, that's a great idea for the barn roofs. We have, uh, his wood shop, I think I've told y'all, is next door at, behind my mother's house, and he has, he's got the wood. The, mm -hmm. the painted ladies come to the south. Now, what is the painted ladies? I want to know about that. I'm, I'm always behind the you know, I don't know what the, the new, the thing is. I got to get with the program. Okay, so we got a little barn. And what I'm probably going to do, um, welcome, Alice, since you're first time watching. No. Oh, Ollie, that's a no. good idea to use Gorilla Hot Sticks. I know I hadn't tried that. Uh, show the no. big tier tray again, please, babe. Uh, Nancy wants to show the, the big tier tray again right over here. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to um, paint some more detail on the doors, maybe the hayloft. I'm going to uh, distress the roof. I'm going to put some black and distress it. Um, oh, painted lady. Oh, thank you. I didn't know that. I learned something every time I go live with y'all. Set the barn on the Yeah, let me do that. Let me see. I'm backwards there. So, that's your little barn that you can um, all aboard the tater bug and train. I love that. <laughs> Opa. Uh, the drill bit thingy, you can make your own beads. Don't, oh, don't to even tell me that. I'm just getting into the wood beads now, too. So, um, okay, Libby. I, I, I'm glad to learn that. Lee wants this tray. We're gonna offer these for sale too. Um, I'm gonna put those on our um, site. There you go. I've got, and I don't know if you didn't see his medium two-tiered tray is right here. Put that on there, puts a little house down here. 
So he's got two sizes. He's been busy last week, y'all. I mean, he hit the ground running and he's been designing. Okay, the church that Ginger already figured out. Um, we have both the tiered tray size and he's got the shelf or if you wanted to paint it up and hang it on a wall he's got he's gonna bring that over here look how little and cute it is oh my goodness i cannot even stand it oh. that's out of yeah can you hold it over here mm, i can try he may he may uh, throw it in the floor before you get it but yeah. so we've got the two different sizes ah judy um the three tier really big three tier tray is 38 and 28 for the two tier tray oh thank you amanda aren't they so cute i squealed when i saw you know because i had the idea and i told i, I kind of sketched it out on paper and he goes next door and boom, here it is. A spring, summer, or fall version of this could become, okay. What? That's what, you know, I think um, the barn and the, the church is year round. You know, you can decorate these however you want to, weather them. Y'all are so good at doing the, um, those weathered effects on wood and stuff. And this is all reclaimed wood um, that he procures from all over the place, and then he makes it beautiful again. And um, so, the little church uh, is ten dollars and free shipping. And what did you say the big church was? We, I don't think we just we'll get that on the website too. We didn't even get to discuss that. Right. Must have this. Um, he's saying 18 on the, the tall one. I'm going to have to see how shipping runs. I don't know. Uh, we've got to work out. We are so flying by the seat of our pants, y'all. We just had this idea. And uh, Janice, late hopping on. Of course, y'all, I'm going to post this so y'all can see. But we made a barn, too. I really quickly painted this up without any of the details. But he cut a barn for me. And he cuts all the little um, wood roof pieces and a hayloft window and a door Tell them this is cedar. uh yeah these are cedar will they always be cedar not necessarily, not necessarily. we got all kinds of wood but, but these are cedar. um these are cedar and uh bundle deal for the churches these people are brilliant we're gonna do that bundle deal throw for it the two churches yeah throw it all out we are located just outside of memphis tennessee in a suburb called bartlett um, and you know, I thought I'm either going to go live and y'all are all going to go, Lindy, come on, <laughs> or you might like it. For the tier He's going to get the height measurements, but y'all, I had, I scarfed down some lunch right before I came on live because time got away from me and I had a bag of ruffles and look. I think it was a sign. Oh, I took it as a sign that y'all are gonna like these. <laughs> so, yay. The tall one is 17 and this two tier is 13. Two tier is 13 tall. And I don't know if you heard him, but the tall, the three tier is, you said 17 inches That's tall? 17 inches 17 tall. 17 inches tall, yeah. <gasps> a silo! <laughs> y'all are so good! Oh, keep the ideas coming, because I'm telling you, um, I just dream up these crazy things, and he makes them happen in a wood form. So, uh, I need and want the, to the top Lindy's wearing. Oh, uh, let me tell y'all. This is so easy, it's pitiful. Um, One-room schoolhouse? We can do it. We can do a one-room schoolhouse. We'll figure it out. I... I don't go to Walmart very often, and I, I got I used to go all the time, but the one that I used to go to was not the best place to be. 
but anyway, there's a newer one. So uh, the end of last week, in fact, I think it was Friday, I ran in Walmart to look at their um, supply, their craft supplies, which was a giant mess. But I found this. <laughs> I actually got it in two different styles. This is a medium, y'all. It. Let me show you. These these must run big because. Oh, but it's so comfortable. I got it in this print and I got it in a um it's like a soft that soft pink and soft green and gray camo kind of look I wore it yesterday <laughs> so anyway throw it on with some leggings it's great double check your shipping before loading your shop yes I will Nancy uh, those were all tentative um, they want to call the row of houses the tater bug town <laughs> I love that. Oh, y'all make me so happy. Uh, yeah, um, we do We do need to work out the shipping. We're going to work that out. Uh, let, okay, let me run this by you since we're all just hanging out together. Uh, would you rather us um, keep the price really low and you pay shipping according to where you live? We can calculate each different one or we can give you a flat rate that'll incorporate uh, shipping all around the country. So something else, I'm learning all of this. Oh, Carol, thank you. Um, yeah, for 35 years we've been a team. Uh, this, he's my person. I, I don't, I swear, I don't think I'll ever be able to live life without him. So he just did some, he just fixed my roof for me. <laughs> So, how, how are we doing on time? It's a, we've only been on 30 minutes. Yep. Let me paint some churches here. Let's just flat rate. I agree, Opa. I think that's the way to go, too. Would you mind handing me that large ivory chalk paint right there? Thank you very much. And I'm just going to do this in the Waverly Ivory chalk paint. Um, let me get a paintbrush. This one, y'all, I think you can paint this church so many different ways. You could weather it, and if this is going to be your little church for your winter tiered tray, put a little, um, you do in Mr. Wally, Judy. I know, it's wonderful. Um, put a little snow on the roof or something. Um, I don't know. I think the, the ideas are limitless, and y'all are going to come up with even greater ideas for these. I, I know because I've seen you do it all the time. Okay, let me set my little barn. Can you see my little, I'm gonna put him right over here while I paint this. Do you this. seal them over chalk paint? Uh, so ask that, uh, seal them over chalk paint. Tell me, I just used acrylics on the barn. Um, yeah, I just learned, I just used acrylic, and once you, you, you'll get the raw wood kit so that you can customize it however you want to, and then if you want to uh, just spray a sealer over the top, I'm going to ask, I'll, I'll ask Lee about that, Nancy. Uh, uh, Lee, is Lee still here? Is Lee here? Yeah, Lee was here. Someone asked where they go to order. I'm going to... Um, Elaine... Holly. Elaine, Lord. I'm going to um, post the link as soon as I have them up ha uh, listed. I'm, as soon as I get off here, I'm going to get that all set up and post the link. You'll see the link right now on the Tater Buggin page. Um, it should be on the left-hand side, I believe, or in the About section. <clears throat> You'll see a link. We have our monthly classes listed there. This month we're doing a hand lettering class. We've done snowmen. They're all still available. We did a gnome in November. That's all there if you wanted to join that. And we also have, all, um, I'm in the process of uploading some more of them, but we have woodblock prints that are always available that you can order. Um, they're just my paintings that we make woodblock prints out of. So it'll be a five and a half inch woodblock with that painting adhered to it. 
and sealed. Um, so those you'll see on, on the side as well. But I'm gonna add these new pieces when I get off of here and we get all of our business details figured out as far as... Hello, Norma Rubio. Hello, Norma, I'm glad you made it. Oh, I'm so glad. Anyway, um, yeah, Beverly, I do my classes live, but then I post them to the private group. When you join up for the class, you're going to get a link to a private group where we all hang out. It's, um, thank you, Judy. I appreciate that. I don't know what I'd do without all of y'all. Um, Did you see she asked if we have classes live? Yeah, I was just answering that. I go live to do the classes. Um, and I usually will plan two or three lives during the month. Some may be a craft that go along with the theme for the month, but for our lettering class, there are a lot of videos. There's a lot of resources that I've found for y'all. Uh, we have already, here it is, the 10th, and we've shared a ton there. And um, you can, I, after I do the live, I just post them, and you'll always be able to access those. Let me hit these with the heat gun and show you how this looks so far. Okay. All right. Let's see those. Oh, Janice, see, that's what I told him. I said, you know. I dream up something and like the you know I thought I wanted a little house and if I had to cut the wood it wouldn't you know it wouldn't happen and not everybody has somebody with a wood shop in their backyard or next door or whatever to just run out there and cut it and build it for you so that's another reason I thought y'all might might like this chart Harold's Haroldson high she's new Welcome. I hope you'll consider following us. We ha we're we having a ball over here. Beverly asks, how much for the lettering classes? Uh, all of my monthly classes are just $10. And you will have unlimited access, at least for the whole year. I've decided to, li to, to leave them up indefinitely. So if anybody comes in later and decides they want to paint a gnome or a, a, a family of snowmen, they can go back and, and uh, join. And I'll give you the, as soon as you join, I send you the link to the private page. And Beverly asked, is it, let's see, can you do one class or join for the year? Well, you can join for the year. My sweet Elizabeth is my, my first person to join for the whole year. And she, that's what she did. So we can absolutely... Uh, we can do that. We're already, um, the next one, I hadn't told anybody else this. I, you know, we did, talked about it on my live Herschel painting. Would you hand me him? Um, Herschel? I th uh, that's not Herschel, but my cow. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is going to be coming up soon. I don't know if it'll be February if we'll do Valentine's, but we're going to do a cow. So that's, that's just one sneak peek for being here. Everybody seemed to like... Um, Nancy's answering for you. Thank you, Nancy. I appreciate that. Please Hello, do. Hello, Robin. Um, Cynthia Most. $10 a class? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Per class. If you want to, I've got to paint the sides of this, but if you wanted to um, pick and choose which, because I don't know what each month is going to be yet. I just started doing this in November. Um, if you go on my Tater Bugging page and look up my videos, you can even go back to um, last spring when we were in quarantine. They're all free classes, and we, we offered several for free during quarantine and just left them up. So, Rhonda says you can teach people to paint a cow. <laughs> I'm going to try. I, you know, ask Elizabeth's here. Um, she's done my classes. And I, what I try to do, I used to do them at Southern Vintage and then, you know, COVID hit and we can't do that anymore. So I um, decided to try to do them online because I enjoyed it so much. And I try to break it down into... Can you ship the couple you made with the clothespin? Yes, I sure can. Uh, and those little clothespin couples are $5. Um... So yeah, we can, I think we 
can ship those. They should ship all right. He ra he he what, packages. Uh huh. Really, sure. he packages them really well. And so far, we haven't had any complaints about that. So. Beverly asked. I love that y'all have questions. Templates. Um. Now, well, I take that back. On my gnome, uh, I did make a template for everybody. And on the snowmen, instead of making a template. I broke it down into little simple pieces so that you could paint as many or as few as you wanted to. And um, and everybody seemed okay with that too. Uh, that's what I try to do in my classes is to um, break it down. Is he snoring? Pete's snoring. Sorry y'all, I wasn't paying it. I'm used to uh, his Ooh. snoring, so. All right, do you see that little church? And then we can put whatever, if you want to put a stained glass window, mm, let me show you this. I got to do it because I, Gerald uh, makes these, we've been making uh, these big wood churches that I paint. I paint um, the door on the front and then I put stained glass on both sides of the door and usually a little circle at the top. Let me see. I need to get my stained glass colors. Sorry, y'all. Talk, ask questions and uh, ask questions, and he's following the Ooh. comments. And hopefully, let me grab these my little stained glass colors that I like to use. Uh, Natalie asked, "What time of day your class is?" We do that. She does the live classes, but they're always available. You can go back on Facebook and watch them anytime. Yeah. And in the classes, if you don't catch them live, you go, you know, you can go back and watch. Uh, but I don't have a set time for our live uh, class uh, instructions. I'll, I'll let you know ahead of time always, though. Char, uh, let's see, Char Haroldson, um, which one of the churches did you, did you want? The small church is $10.00. The larger church is eighteen. Well, we're working out we're working out prices with shipping. Hey, yeah. Heather, she says hi, Lindy and Mr. Taterbug. Can you see the couple? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have one. The yeah. others went into my booth, but I have I posted a picture of all of them. If you go back and uh, through my posts, you you'll see all the different versions. But this was one of the versions. Let me hold it up close. Um, and I only have a few of these. These happen to be in my grandmother's um, vintage buttons. Do you and have a sample of the gnome? Yes, the gnome. Oh, no, he got put away with Christmas, so he oh, might be able to get him probably while I paint a quick little. Um, my paint carousels, Lisa. I got, oh, I love those things. They're from Michael's. Yep, they're just from Michael's. Um, that, yeah, Janice, thank you. Y'all are so great for answering some of these questions for me because my brain is pinging. I'm so excited. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm very, very excited that y'all are excited about this with me. We, we're pretty excited. Doing great, Debbie. How are you having a good day? Did you just get here? Here's Welcome. Here's what we did in November. This is our little gnome. And um, some people have done this after Christmas and had the gnome hold something different. Um, of course, the star doesn't have to be a Christmassy star. And you can change the colors of your gnome and the embellishments so he's not so Christmassy. And he could be um, year-round. And I don't have any more of my snowmen family, but they have a little hat and scarf you um get your family or whatever family you're painting it for you get their favorite each of their favorite colors and paint their hat and scarf their favorite color and then we wrote their name down the front of the scarf and so it made a cute little snowman family but you'll see all of those um on my on my on our page and someone asked how large the cow is it's nine by ten but we're, you know, I did that on an old piece of barnwood years ago. So we're, you know, we'll probably pick a an eight by 10. canvas size that, yeah, an 8 by 10 that we'll paint live. But you'll be able to do them. I'm going to break it down where you can do it any size you want to. Or I will probably do an 8 by 10 template for the cow if you're more comfortable using a template. Because some people are, and I, I get that. 
All right, let me see if I can do a little. Y'all, we're trying to answer these questions as quick as we can, but if we miss you, please ask me again. And Yeah, and, and I always go back and re-watch with real-time comments so that I can answer some questions, too, if they didn't get answered. Debbie, thanks for sprinkling. Okay, I'm going to try to do these real quick so you can see, just get a visual of, of this. If you pay for a year, yes, it's $120. Mm -hmm. And I just pick out, I'm going to show you the four colors I use because I've been doing these for years. And I just like the way these colors end up looking together. But you can always do your stained glass in any colors that you want them to be. You're welcome, Marlene. Oh, sure. In, yeah. I'm just hoping we're not missing some. Missing some. I, I, Questions? Me, yeah, me too. Uh, I saw several of our sweet followers, though, answering some questions for us, which I appreciate. Debbie Lower, hello. Hey, hey. All right. I'm going to see. See what y'all... Oprah think. says she's still painting gnomes and snow families. I love that y'all enjoy them so much. And I want to tell off on Elizabeth Bauer. All I did was... Um, I opened... I always say I'm opening the door to the studio. That just means that it's alive. I, I was painting a Herschel pig anyway um, the other day. So I did a live. And that smart Elizabeth Bauer painted one yesterday. And it's stinking cute oh my goodness and i you know i wasn't even like teaching it she just did it ginger is looking for your top and says it's out of stock did you see that uh, is it really i just lucked out and went into our walmart because y'all it was like 14.98 or something and it just looked so cozy so um i had i had to get it all right janice spangler Thanks for joining and, and being with us. Yes. So she says she's new to, or wants to join and new to painting. Oh, let, you know, um, when I did the, the classes at Southern Vintage Company, um, there were a lot of people that would say that. They thought they couldn't do it. They were just coming for a girl's day out or something. That's how I started painting, y'all. And, and it was only six years ago. Uh, somebody, a friend had invited me to painting with a twist. Some of y'all have heard this a million times, but um, invited me to painting with a twist, and I told her they better have a stencil because I couldn't paint for anything. And I found out I loved it so much, and here we are today. Now, I did this fast, y'all, so. Cynthia Most, yes, you can pay with PayPal. See the little stained glass? Now, I could have gone a little bit bigger, but I was going in a hurry. You could even do, um, some more stained glass over on the sides or make the door bigger. This is kind of going to be, you know, you're going to get blank wood and make it your own. Uh, you can have it look however you want to. Let's see. Marjorie asked how tall are the small houses and barns? They're uh, usually about three and a half to four and a half inches tall. The shelves on the... Uh, tiered trays this that I made four. were five inches tall, so made them to where they fit in there. Yeah, the little that little house is four exactly with the roof to the peak, and this one's, the barn is just under four with the roof. Uh, let's see, this church is, I'm going to try not to mess up my paint. Four and a half with the steeple, but let me, I can... Judy Zappa just joined us. Hey, Judy. Just so you can see how they're going to fit on. This is what happens when I start crafting a bunch. It just all collects around me. So they'll fit. Let me see here. Even, you know, like even down here, it's going to be a good size. And these are a thickness that... Um, They'll stand up on their own. So if you just don't, you're not a tiered tray person, you just want to sit this on your counter in your kitchen or your windowsill or whatever, 
these should all, you know, be just fine standing up on their own too. The tall church won't. <laughs> the tall church won't, but, you know, we could always have a, a thin um, stand Let's if you needed that. Put a base on it. Um, so. As a matter of fact, I think that tall church had a base on it. And you know what? Um, we can, you can order the tiered trays. Um, I was going to say naked. That's probably not the right word. <laughs> Raw wood is what I'm trying to say. That way, if you want to stain it, if you want to chalk paint it, if you want to distress it, you can paint your trays um, whatever color you want. Yes, Terry, we've decided to sell the trays. How we're going to ship the trays is something we've got to consider. Yep. But that's in the, sh he's the, he's the shipping department manager. Production and shipping. Production and shipping department yeah. right there. So we're going to work out all these details and, um, get those posted to the site. And, uh, as soon as, as soon as they're ready for you to, to start ordering, I'm going to post so, so it'll be a little bit later today. We're going to figure that all out and go and let you know when we have it. Yeah, we got to figure out the logistics of this, Elizabeth. I hope we haven't bitten off more than we can chew. We're going to see. Said that there's a girl named Cynthia that asked if we could do the trays in a square shape. They can be made in just about any shape. But yeah, square is certainly possible. Mm -hmm. Where do they live, Joyce? A roof painter. What's a roof painter? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> He's the head of shipping and production and roof painter. And roof painter. Because <laughs> he painted the roof of the barn for me. <laughs> uh, I'm so excited you found us too, Terry. I want everybody to find us. Y'all tell everybody. Because we're having the time of our lives. He just retired November? End of November? When was it? When did you retire? November. November. 15th. So, Actually, it was Friday the 13th. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, it was Friday the 13th. Um, so, yeah. And so, we've been having a blast. Be prepared to be very busy. You know what? For so long, y'all, it's all been, you know, he cuts the wood and then I have to paint it. And I take all the orders and I handle all the social media and the marketing and that sort of thing. And then I have to paint every piece that we sell. This time, I figured it out. It's on him. Y'all get to do the painting. <laughs> but I thought it would be fun anytime we come up with one of these new ones to just go live and I'll paint one and show it to you. And then you can order the kit and do it however you want to. It'll all be yours. Um, watching you love crafting anything. Yeah. Uh, so we're, we ask if we can start ordering. Well, we got to put that together. <laughs> we're going to work out. We just got to work out pr uh, pricing and shipping. Um, naked tear trays. Somebody wants a naked tear tray. Naked tear trays. We're, we'll put naked tear trays on the site, too. Um, thank you, Marjorie. That means so much. That is so sweet. I'll feed my soul. Um, he does duck calls, makes them in bowls. Oh! Yay. Thank you, Cynthia, for sharing with your sassy sisters. I said the word. Sorry. Um, okay. You'll find the kits in our, there's a um, website link on our Tater Buggin page, but it's not, they're not there yet. You'll find my classes and you'll find our woodblock prints. Um, it's Tater Buggin. Everything is Tater Buggin. Uh, but there is a link to it. Um, there's a link to it on my Tater Buggin page here that I'm on right now. And What's your site's name? It's Tater Buggin. It's a Shopify store, um, but I have the link on our page here on Facebook. And um, we're going to go get these. Thank you, Elizabeth. I'm glad you like them. I... Real quick, I'll tell you, Brittany. <clears throat> how many years ago did you get my car? Your car? Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's a 2007. Ten years ago. 
it, it, it's, it was used. I got, I had always loved VW. Uh, Teresa Brown is here. Hey, Teresa. Um, I had always loved VW Beetles. And we took the boys, we had gone on our family vacation down to Destin or Fort, actually it was Fort Morgan that year. And we were sitting out on our deck and this little cream colored, I call them doodle bugs, convertible drove by and I just had a fit. Well, he's always worked in the car industry. And the very next week after we got back from vacation, somebody traded that identical car in. And so I wanted to give it a name. I'd never had vanity plates. I'd never wanted to. Cars don't impress me, I, but I just was thrilled with this car. And everybody kept saying, it looks just like you. I don't know why I'm round and blonde. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, um, I named it Taterbug. And I put eyelashes on her. She has a Facebook page. <laughs> but so she's this, this little fun uh, doodle bug with eyelashes and a Taterbug um, license plate. So when... I started this business, I was trying to think of a name for it that incorporated the whole family. My, um, my son's been in on our lives some too, and he's an artist and he's fabulous. And anyway, and of course, this one was gonna do the woodworking. So I just came up with Taterbugging. So everybody kind of knows when they see Taterbug um, riding around town with her little eyelashes but anyway that's where the name came from for what it's worth and thank you for spending time with us y'all it's We're been an hour. an hour so i'm gonna set y'all free so we can um so we can get all this online for y'all and so watch for a post please watch for our post that says it's all up and ready and let us know what you want and he's and gonna get thank busy. you for your support mm -hmm. Always, yes, and uh, for for just for being here with me when I when I both of us when we do these lives, you it just I always y'all get me so excited. You give me so much energy, and I get off of here, and I'm it's just like I've had an antidepressant. <laughs> so y'all go enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and be looking for all our new little goodies. Thank you again, everybody. Bye.